Today we're going to be looking at Far West playset. Now, of course, every every time I do these, uh, is it worth a buck? I make a review such as this, and it's your job to tell me, is it worth a buck, or is it is it a piece of crap? Uh, in this case, not quite a dollar. I know it's two dollars. So, in this case, is it worth two bucks? But as you can see, Far West playset. Got a picture down below of one of the toys. You've got also got a out of place, if you ask me, bit of a cartoon. There's a guy there, a cowboy hat. He's typical cowboy. He's chewing on uh, a stick, piece of uh, grass. Kind of seems he does seem out of place though, compared to everything else going on on this set, because everything here looks more, I don't know, more realistic. And then you got this cartoon guy. Uh, it says, with sounds, try me. Now, I'm actually not going to try it here. I'll open the figure up first so you guys can get the full effect. And then on the back, we've got uh, what looks to be an Indian riding a horse. A cowboy riding a horse. Looks like they're going to duel. Although the Indian is shooting up at the clouds, so I don't know. He's Maybe he's a blind Indian. I, I don't know. Um, on the undersiding underside of the package here. It says, warning, do not use rechargeable batteries. Do not mix new and used batteries. Do not mix alkaline standard carbon zinc or rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries. Boy, they've really taken the fun out of this, haven't they? They show you how to change the batteries on the, uh, the toy. So there's packaging. Oh, you guys, I can tell you guys are excited. So what we'll do is we'll open this up. We'll look at Far West Playset. You guys can tell me, is it worth a buck? Stay tuned. All right, we've opened up Far West Playset. Let's have a look at Far West Playset. And I say playset, it's a bit gray. You get a back, you get a backdrop, and I don't know if it's intended to be a background setting for your toy. Uh, the toy actually would have sat inside here. And as you can see, it's the exact same image as the one that was on the back of the package. Um, I suppose if you are a collector of these, you could probably have the the toy standing in front of the backdrop. Um, maybe, maybe even you can open up this these flaps. That wouldn't quite be a setting because the side is just some wood paneling. It's got some gravel down below there. Uh, but you know what? For the sake of this review, we'll just put this at the back. We'll set the scene. Uh, the other play set feature is it comes with a blade of grass comes with some grass. Long grass, I might add, too. Clearly no one is cutting this lawn. Nobody's cutting this at all. They've just let it go. Um, it doesn't peg in. It doesn't do anything. It basically just sits there. I guess, really, if you uh, if you have other dioramas that you collect, Star Wars, uh, Marvel Legends, Street Fighter, anything you want, uh, maybe, maybe this is worth two dollars. Who knows? You could get a couple of things of grass, you could have your characters fighting or posed in front of some grass. So if you've been looking for grass, dude, I got grass for you. It's right here. It's two bucks. Two bucks for grass. So we'll just put that there. Also set the scene. And we will have a look at the main feature. It's the main toy of this set. We've got ourselves a little Indian. A wee little Indian on a horse. I guess what we'll do first is we'll take the Indian off the horse. Despite the fact that he's posed the way he is, you can actually still have the horse standing, no problem whatsoever. Uh, the Indian, as you can see, is holding his bow and arrow, which apparently has melted in the sun. Look at this sad state of a bow and arrow. <laughs> I don't think he's firing anything. Look at this. He's got a crooked arrow. The whole thing is just a mess. He's straighten it out, baby. Maybe I don't know, but uh, at least he's holding his his uh, arrow, as you can see. Or he's pulling it, drawing it back. And he's got some more arrows on the back there as well. He's clearly blending in. Well, I guess he is blending with his environment. Sunset. You know, he's got these nice bright uh, arrows and everything else. He's got some green pants with a tomahawk. He's, he is definitely concentrating, too. Look at the look on his face. 
His hair is, uh, well, it's, it's there. Um, it looks like looks like he can move his arm. I don't know if it's just, it's probably just the way it was installed, but you can, I guess that is his articulation. Can't even really move it. It's probably just been plugged into place. Um, but he does have articulation in his waist. So he could basically sh ride his horse, and if he is completely flexible, he could just basically shoot around himself, just around him and the horse. He also is sporting some Mr. T jewelry going on there. He's got a lot of bling. This guy has got a lot of bling. Um, but that's basically all he does. He doesn't really do anything. Yeah, he could stand if he really wanted to. Uh, we'll put him down. Actually, you know what? Right, here we go. We're going to make use of the grass. We're going to just put him behind the grass. There we go. The horse could basically be walking by. It's a ruse, you see. The horse is walking by, and the cowboys are like, oh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. It's just a horse. <laughs> it's just a horse. What's the horse going to do? And then the horse is going to go by, go by, go by, and then they're going to go, oh, crap. And then he's going to shoot shoot his arrows. Eh? Smart Indians. Um, so basically, we have our horse which is really nicely detailed. I also want to point out too, in order to open up and take the batteries out, you actually have to open up his crotch. The batteries are hidden inside his crotch. You actually have to take this whole area out and that's where you put your batteries in. This also is where the speaker is for the horse. Um, pretty, de pretty decent horse really. I mean, the horse on its own, if you collect horses and, you know, and such, the horse on his own, I think, is kind of worth two bucks. Nicely detailed. I mean, certainly if you don't like the coloring, you could also repaint it, I'm sure. If you've got some G.I. Joes or you've got some Marvel Universe figures that, that you, you've been seeing yourself all this time, you know, I like I like my, uh, like my Spider-Man Marvel Universe or I like my Captain America Marvel Universe, but you know what? The one thing that's missing, I really wish he had a horse. Well, there, there you go. You got a horse. You got a horse for Captain America. Complete with blue saddle. Um, you can't really do too much with it. Obviously, there is no articulation in the legs or anything. There is articulation in the tail, so he can be a happy horse. He can be a sad horse. I don't even know. If, if the tail is up on a horse, I guess he's happy. Or is he like a dog? You know, maybe the tail wags when he's happy. You can see I know nothing of horses. Um... But there you go. Now his gimmick, I know you guys have been waiting for it, his gimmick is there's a little button on the back that when you press it, it's either the horse galloping. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, I didn't know how many times it was going to do that. Um, but clearly it, it makes a trotting noise, like a uh, walking noise. Uh, or it could also be somebody just holding some coconuts. Or this horse uh, is walking on uh, a piece of wood, walking on some wood. But that's all he does. Again though, two bucks. Eh, you can't really go wrong. Two bucks. The horse plays. The horse makes some noise. Uh, so we'll put the Indian actually back on the horse, and we'll have him poised over here. He's gonna shoot some stuff. Um, so you get blade of grass. Let's go through the checklist. Blade of grass. You get a nice cardboard backdrop. You get a horse with sound effects, and you also got an Indian with a crooked bow and arrow. And I would say to you, how much would you pay for something like this? If you were going to say $35, clearly you have no idea how much toys are worth. But $2. Is it worth $2? Is it worth a buck? Or two? Tell me down below. Would you pay $2 for this? Or would you pay a buck for it? But let me know down below. Or let me know, is it a piece of crap? Keep in mind, guys, it does play sounds. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There's going to be many more. Is it worth a buck to come? And in the meantime, he's going to ride out to the sunset. Here we go. I'll see you guys next time.